Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. <laughs> so this is a new face here. So you're probably wondering who is this. So I think I'll begin by giving you a little, like a very small introduction. Um, I am Flynn George and I'm the head coach of Cap It Simplified. So that's a little, that's pretty much all about me. And I hope the bird noises are all right because I just thought it would be a refreshing setup for all of you. Uh, and I hope the purpose is served. All right, getting back. So, um, Having closely worked with a lot of applicants who are on this journey, on this capital journey, and closely working with them on multiple facets about, you know, of their application, this feels honestly oddly strange to be talking to a phone and connecting with a wider audience. But nevertheless, I'm glad I'm being able to do this um, finally and talk to all of you. So today I was thinking that we'll go through um, some, some things that's very crucial for your application. Something that comes off is very simple, very redundant, but is also very crucial. So to be specific, I'm talking about the questions that ask you about why do you fit into a certain school? Why do you want to hear from a certain school? So this question uh, gets covered in multiple supplemental question packets or supplemental question sets from different schools, different universities. So as sim it comes off as a little simple, but once you sit down, I'm pretty sure this is one of those questions that a lot of you get stuck on, you sort of freeze thinking what to do next or you know from where do you gather your thoughts from where do you start and what do you pen down so this is what I thought I'll cover today now the question remains how do you go about it being on the admissions committee panel a committee member would look at your answer from three perspectives the first one would be how much do you want to you know come to our school how interested are you in our program number two how much research have you done? How much do you know about our campus? How much do you know about our vision and mission statement? What we thrive in and what we strive for? And number three would be, how do you fit in? Are you a team player? Do, you, do your personal goals align or do your personal values align with our values? And are you interested in coming on board just because you need a school or because you think you will be a good fit? Now, these are the three questions that you have to wrap your head around and you have to put yourself in that person's shoes and think how would they look at your answer and how would they, you know, make a conclusion from your answer. Now, the two words that you have to, that are important throughout this video and are crucially important are research and specific. You take a mental note right now or pen it down because this is important, research and specific. So research refers to a thorough study that you have to do about the school you want to get into. Now, this can be a little tricky because some of you might be applying to four schools. Some of you might be applying to 13 schools, but the but it, it's, it's but it's upon you to, you know, uh, go through websites, go through resources and make sure you know what that school stands for, what you will find in that school, what is there in that school in store for you. That is research specific is throughout writing your answer you have to keep in mind that it is very easy for your answer to get lost in a big mix there'll be so many applicants um, applying sending in their answers and your answer should stand out it's not always possible to be unique right because sometimes um, what a school offers you is pretty much what everyone would have read at multiple resources multiple stages and so it's not really possible to make your points unique but how can you make your uh, answer very specific to your own journey? Tie down every point that you write to an experience or an incident in your own journey and in your own story. That makes it more specific. All right. So now next, I'm going to dive in a little deeper to the word, into the word research and sort of break it down for you. Now, where all can you turn to for research? Right? So don't just limit yourself to the usual, you know, school newsletter, school website, don't just stop there, keep going. You have so many more points that you can cover. So the first point, the first stop would definitely be the school website. School website, the, in their information sessions and their interactive webinars and their current students, alumni and uh, school tours. Now they have virtual tours as well, some schools. After that, apart from that, um, Instagram, YouTube channels and then the admissions committee. Now, the school website is definitely of the first stop for almost all the applicants because that's where you find the basic information about the school. But certain school websites don't really give out a lot of their, you know, data and information there. So where, where do you go next? Where you go next is um, to their current students and alumni. 
who will give you more authentic information, more uh, first-hand information. For example, uh, a school probably um, advertises or um, says on their website that they have um, a very uh, strong community service program that everyone even the international program students get to be a part of the community service but probably you know two or three of your mind voices are thinking to yourself or asking you you know is that true i mean when it comes down to ground reality are they really gonna you know let all the students take part or is it is the program strong that's where the information and the words of an alumni al alumnus or a current student would help you because um they have been through the stage they've been there done that and now they are there doing it and they'll be you know in a better position to t to tell you what is really happening in the school similarly interactive sessions and webinars are a very very good tool to go for because especially certain schools like um umn and colorado they have just to just to say a few names off the top of my head there are other schools too that take up a lot of interactive webinars now in this they give you a sort of like a bird's eye view into what the school is about and what their program is like. And you would also have the admissions uh, coordinator as well as alumni or um, current students at the in the webinar right then and there answering your questions, anything, trivial questions, um, detailed questions, anything about the application, about when do they close, about the rolling bases or uh, about updated TOEFL scores, about um, sending in your transcripts later and anything like a multitude of questions and answers so that's an interactive webinar is definitely a go-to resource because that is that is definitely a gold mine of answers you can get so many aspects covered through webinar and then coming to the social media forums youtube and instagram and facebook go on youtube find all the uh, channels that provide content or provide videos about schools and their application deadlines and their application process, their supplemental answers and keep taking notes. I mean, you can go through five different channels and five different videos and find five different points. Most of it might be repetitive, but you know, maybe one point somewhere throughout the 10 minute video might be different and might give you some insight. The same way there are a lot of pages on Instagram that puts out uh, daily content and as well as Facebook pages and groups that discuss these things. Just, just one tip that I would like to give you in this is take everything that you hear with a pinch of salt, especially on groups like Facebook groups where there are so many students talking to each other and clearing doubts and uh, putting out uh, content. It can get very overwhelming and even intimidating sometimes. Remember that everyone is on their own journey and some of them might project it in a very, um, um, you know, scary way or um, everyone's perspectives are different, right? So make sure you take those answers and those comments with a pinch of salt. Do not lose confidence because there are like a thousand opinions out there. Take what is good for you, leave the rest and then validate whatever you hear from someone else, from an expert maybe from the, uh, from the schools. Because otherwise, like, do not go down the rabbit hole. It's not worth it. Your application process is going fine. You are doing good. You are at a good space. This is a very difficult um, journey. There are so many aspects to take care. So do not um, be affected by what you see on other forums. Take the good things and keep the uh, others aside. And just keep moving forward. You know, keep leaping ahead and you will reach the end, end point soon enough. All of you, surely. Okay, all right, so moving ahead. And then the next one is um, admissions committee and the school. This is very much underrated. It's something that I, um, our team at Capit Simplified tells most of our applicants. If you are stuck at some point and if you have a question that you think you need a more validated answer for uh, or you want 100% assurance, the right place to go is the school itself. Email the school, contact the admissions coordinator. Most of the school websites have the admission coordinator's number uh, or email ID and most of them are you know responsive and even if you're not sure whether they're responsive take the chance why not take out their you know pull out the contact information email them call them and get your uh, questions clarified because that is the best place you can get the information from right I mean who better than the school themselves or the admissions committee themselves so this sort of uh, this, tab this uh, tabulation sort of like an air tabulation, uh, clears or not clears, consolidates all the places where the where you can go to do research. 
for your application and this will definitely help you refine your answers to make your answers more school specific more school friendly and this will take you definitely a long long way no doubt about it now why did i say specific a while back right i said research and specific two important points why specific is because like i said not everyone's story can be unique right for example one school probably talks about research and um uh community service and diversity in patient pool in the in their patient pool this is probably what um the values or the qualities that are at the helm of that school so that is prob- that is also what most of the applicants will focus on that's all right but how do you sort of you know sculpt your answer to make it your own you take instances from your own life from your own experience your own journey what you want to do and link the answer in such a way that you talk about the school's uh value system what the school is looking for and tie it up to your own journey or your own point that way it is a very it's not a generic answer there's nothing more g- dangerous than a generic answer honestly a generic answer a generic lor um a generic um sop anything any document the more generic it is uh the worse it is right so try to make it as specific as you can the the moment your recommenders have uh, remembered a few instances from your journey i mean from their journey with you and mentioned that in your le- letter of recommendation it stands out in the crowd similarly for your supplementary questions also the more you bring in personal experiences the more you bring in specific uh, experiences or attributes from yourself from your journey uh, uh, from your mentors or you know whatever you've been through that makes a supplemental answer beautiful on its own and something that is your own and not anyone else's so that is why specific so don't worry about it not being unique just ensure that it is your own it reflects like something that i write should reflect uh fl- you know flins experiences and flins life of so that is that is the one thing that you should take care of two things actually research and uh specific so now that you've done your research what you have to do is place them out map down the map out the points note them down and pick two or three because mostly all the supplemental questions um have 250 characters i mean 250 words or 1000 words 4000 uh, characters and so on and so forth so pick out two to three points that you can efficiently elaborate in your answer don't take in everything and you know uh collate all of the points in the answer just because that school is unique uh for those points or is known for those particular attributes don't like i was talking about earlier map them to your own life and whatever stands out as your own as well as is important to the school bring them out and then expand on 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 those points don't stretch them out too thin where you know the the admissions committee is reading too many too much information put in two or three points that are solid for you and then expand on it and that way you get a research oriented answer that is very specific and that is your own so this is what this is my two cents for the day uh, i know it sounded like a little more than two cents but this is pretty much it why i chose this topic is because um now that the the cycle started like a few months back and now everyone's you know uh, sort of in a frenzy they are um start trying to finish their supplemental answers especially because the closing dates are approaching now in indiana university has closed their application process similarly other schools are going to soon um join that line so which is why i i chose to talk about this um uh, don't rush it quality is definitely important than quantity take your time breathe this uh just step back and just take a breath and then get back to it again it can be overwhelming don't worry you've got this you're almost there this is almost the last uh few stages of your application and you're almost there just focus on quality and you can get through this so i'll meet you in a few days maybe in a week to discuss uh maybe you know some specifics about an answer we can probably talk about what a good answer is and what a bad answer is with some examples to give some more clarity and uh, yeah that's pretty much what i've got for today for more updates subscribe to our channel and if you have you know f- probably more specific queries uh, if you have a few doubts don't hesitate to reach out to us um give us a call or mail e- email to our email id and we will get back to you we can brainstorm or we can have a call we can guide you however we can and that's it all right guys thank you thank you for listening to me